Well, we've been dealing with a little bit of wind out there yesterday. Thankfully, that died down a little bit today. And you take a look outside in Marshalltown right now. Crystal clear skies. As We've had a really, really nice day shape up for us. Lamoni looking good, Marshalltown looking good, uh, even West Des Moines, a little bit of cloud cover. Uh, but besides that, it's been pretty good. Bulk of the clouds, eastern edge of the state right now. They've been cooler because of that, as we saw before. Temperatures down in the little bit 40s for Decorah, Waterloo, as well as Iowa City. Rest of us in the mid to upper 50s for the most part. So pretty decent one. Your 12 hour forecast as we head throughout the day tomorrow, still looking good. You'll see much less wind wind tomorrow. Temperature starting off near freezing and we'll see that sun shining bright all day long. A nice way to end the week. Uh, we see those temperatures pushing back up into the mid to upper 50s, uh, borderline 60 degrees. So as you look at your hour by hour, notice cloud free skies and well, we keep them that way for a little bit, maybe inching some into the northeast. But uh, as we head into Friday evening, more clouds try to work their way in and that wind picks up a little bit. So heading in towards the weekend, Saturday looks decent, but by midnight or so you can see showers and maybe a few thunderstorms are going to start to push their way in. Winds really pick up. We get one day of relief from that breeze uh, before it comes running back our direction. So as we see the rain continue to uh, spiral its way to the north, 2 p.m. on Sunday, still dealing with the wind and the clouds, but trekking in towards the eclipse, there's some decent potential here. At least some portions of the state will be able to see this. Best opportunities will be to the south. You can see how clouded over a lot of those northwestern and northern locations are. This is at 2 p.m., so pretty much right at that peak. Uh, you go to the southeast, though, areas like St. Louis, even towards Chicago, will have the best potential for some breaks, at least throughout uh, the Great Lakes and into the Midwest. That path of totality here, again, goes just south of St. Louis, north of Cincinnati, upwards towards Detroit. And you can see there will be some spots where we'll be able to see this, but you're going to have to probably drive a little bit uh, to be able to do that. So as we head into the evening, temperatures backing down into the low to mid 30s and your eight day forecast puts us on 60 for your Friday. We do have a chance for some showers again late Saturday into Sunday as we saw. Uh, but again, Monday not looking at much, much potential for that, though we will see some clouds lingering for much of the day, especially that northern half of the state. Temperature wise, hanging on to some warmth here as we ride it out in the low to mid 60s, clear into next week. More chances for rain on Wednesday. After that, we'll bring in the sunshine again to end your work week with highs pushing into the mid to upper 60s.